Hey guys, JQ here. So today I'm going to be talking about this arcade machine that I'm planning to sell. This video has nothing to do with my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to sell this wonderful machine. And the only way I have I can sell this is by an app that I'm using called... Um, hold on one second. I should have been prepared for this, but I'm not. Uh, Offer up is an app that you use on your phone to sell your merchandises and whoever wants to buy it is willing to buy it but a couple of people have been asking me how does this machine work have been asking me is there a way you can prove that it works and blah 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 so i'm like okay might as well except bringing them here to my house so they can check it might as well show it to them on the video it makes it easier i don't want any stranger coming to my house so let me Turn this baby on. So the first thing you want to do is just plug it in. Once it's plugged in, I call it the first thing you're going to do is press the, there's a white button on the back of this machine. That you go. You press it and voila, that's it. It's on. That's, that's all you have to do. Once the machine starts turning on, you'll see a little, little buttons, I mean, little screens popping out. Just making sure it's recognizing. Sorry about that, I just gotta fix my camera a bit. Yeah, there we go. Ah, sorry, it's going crazy. Ah! Play camera. Alright, there you go. Let me zoom a little out. All it's doing is run, it's run by a Dell computer on the inside of the machine. Which makes it easier, you know. I put, I put a little penguins right there. So, okay. Now, we can get started. I will show you how you guys will use this. It's simple. Once this, this is the main screen, this will always be the main screen when you put the... Um, when, you, when you're going to play the arcade. So, the first thing, it will come with a wireless keyboard. All you got to do is just... Turn it on once it's on. You see the little mouse, it starts moving around and it's good to go. All you gotta do just to play all the video games that's in here, you click in the button hyperspin that's right here where my finger's at. Once you click it twice, you could turn this keyboard off and not waste the battery on it. And then itself will start giving you a small little introduction of hyperspin. And here you go. Here's all the games. Now you guys are wondering how you control the button layout, how you do all that. It's easy. There's an instruction manual right here. As you can see on the bottom right here. It tells you green is to go and go to a game. Red is to exit out a game. And yellow is to pause the game when you're playing something. Now, if you want to go by, you can go by, you know, any order you want. This game, this retro gaming has 80,000 games. So if I'm going through arcade, it's only going to have arcade games in here. And they will be alphabetized from A to Z. If you want to play a little Mujin, you could play some, you know, PC Mujin game that they have here. It's basically fan-based game that people, you know, create. Then you have regular PC games that are right here, like Angry Birds uh, and some other stuff that's in here. Then you have some, you know, Japanese company games that are, are just here, I guess, just to show. And if I want to play right now, if I want to show you, hold on, I'll this a little back, sorry. Alright, now if I want to show you how to use this properly, it's super easy. You see in the bottom? There's a star button, player one and player two. On the side is where you put your fictional coins when you want to play. So I'm going to press hold the star button and then press green. And now I'm inside of that console. Now I will show you what game it has inside here. As you can see, that these are mostly Japanese games. Japanese fighting games, you have this. 
You see it's very nice and neat, very HD quality wise. You have um, blue blaze, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, blaze blue. You have part one, you got part two. And like I said again, there's like a lot of Japanese games in here, but luckily it's dubbed in English where you can at least read what's there and whatnot. You have flying simulator games in here. You have King of Fighters. Another King of Fighter game. They're all different type of part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. So when you're done, you know looking around and whatever and you want to see what else what else you got in here you have to hold again the start button and hold the red button and you get back out to the menu where you started out then you have you know pac-man game right here you have the aee which is basically very very old arcade games as you can see if you want to spectate what it looks like all you got to do is hold start and press green now you're inside of the game, you can see all the type of arcade games that used to be, I guess in the 80s or 90s, that, that, well, yeah, there you go. It even gives you the, um, the date, the year where it was made. It was 1981. Like, as you can see, you can just continue looking around. So if I want to exit from this, then I continue going. This is another Japanese game, Zeke. You press start, press green, you enter the game again. If you want to go by alphabetized, you can. It starts from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, blah, 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 all the way to Z. But if you hold it, for example, all you have to do is just to go uh, alphabetized. If you already know the name of the game, all you have to hold, hold on, let me just press start and back. All you have to do is hold the right analog and then you choose which one you want to go. So if I want to find, I don't know, Street Fighter or whatever. I hold the start button and I hold the green and it takes me all to the alphabet of S. They have, you know, Japanese domino games. I don't know what it's that. They have Rival School right here. They have Soul Edge, which I guess this is the first Soul Calibur game. Then here are all the Street Fighter. It's Street Fighter EX. Street Fighter EX2. Street Fighter EX Plus. This has all different type of Street Fighter. Even the glitchiest Street Fighter games they have here as well. Street Fighter EX Plus. You have Striker, Strider, sorry. Then you have the original, the first Tekken game that came out in 1994. Then you have Tekken 2, which is obviously a classic from everybody. And obviously you have Tekken 3. Don't mind the sound effects that happens every time you switch to a game. That's part of the program and does that or uh, does that as well. But since we're done looking at this, we, again you hold the start button, you press the red, it gets sent you back. Then you have pinball machine. Now the pinball machine works different than the arcade machine. So I will give you an example how it works. So you press the start button as the same way and you press green. You go inside the pinball machine and you choose any of the pinball games you want to play. You have, you know, 300. You have 50-50. You got all these and I think you even have Batman if I'm correct. Let me see. I have all these classic, you know. Or is it called the Dark Knight here? Let's see. The Dio No Dio Pinball. Disney. Sonic Boom! 
They have a metal slug. So one more thing before I play this game for you. All you have to do if you want to lower the volume on this or make it high, all you got to do is hold the start button and press up. The minute you do that, you see how the sound effect is different now? It's very loud. Now if you want to decrease that, all you got to do is hold the start button and just go down and it lowers the volume of your arcade. But I'm going to just teach you how to do it. Now I want to play a game. Since I want to play a game, again, hold the start button and hold green and it teaches you. It even gives you a little instruction how to play, which buttons you have to pull, how you put a quarter and everything. So now it's running the emulator of how to play the pinball machine. Now. If you already read it, the instruction, you gotta give it a chance to load up. Once it's done loading, you're ready to play. Look how clear it is, very HD quality wise. Now, if I wanna play again, hopefully, I read the instructions carefully. Okay, there you go. So, red is to put the quarter. Alright. You see the side buttons that I'm using right here? That's the start. Now the fire you hold the yellow button, I believe. So as, as you can see, it's very loud. So if I want to lower the volume, all I gotta do is hold the start button and just press down. Then I lower the volume for I won't blow my goddamn mirror off. So again, the pimple machine, like I said, I really don't play this as much, but now I know. You have to press the player two button that's right here, on my hand right here. You hold it, it fires. Then you use the side button to start hitting. I, me I messed up so I lost. If so I go back again, press player 2, it starts hitting the ball. As you can see, I'm losing a lot. So I want to quit this game. How to quit this game now? I press the start button and I press the back button. I don't want to play this anymore. So now I want to get out of this. Now I'm out of here. One thing you have to make sure that you don't put this arcade machine to any, you know, very, very hot room temperature, like example, the boiler room or anything like that. Because if you do that, this thing will overheat and then the game will start freezing. And you don't want that. So now, I think I'm gonna continue the tutorial. You have Atari 2600, you got Atari 52000. You have Atari 780. And each machine that you go inside, your whole start and green, they all have their own personal libraries of games in here. As you can see, they have Classic, they have Dooms, they have everything in here. Now, I'm gonna get out from here, hold the start button, I'm gonna continue the tutorial. I even have handheld games, classic handheld games that, you know, really didn't last too long, but at the time it was impressive back in the 90s then you have the actually Japanese you know this system or family computer as they call it then you have the Nintendo arcade classic here then you have the original Nintendo entertainment system then you have the Super Nintendo Nintendo 64 
there's very little games on this thing, so I, I wouldn't, you know, bother with this too much, to be honest. Then you have Game Boy Color. Oh, well, actually, no. Take that back. You have Game Boy, regular Game Boy. Then you have Game Boy Color. Then you have Game Boy Advance, you know, you have this, Mega Man, Sonic, all the good Game Boy Advance game you guys grew up with and I grew up as well. You even have Virtual Boy. Which is pretty fun because there wasn't that much games on Virtual Boy when this first came out, but it's still fun, you know, to play this, believe it or not. And you don't need that headset to, you know, play the game. Then you have the original Sega uh, Master System. Then you have the Sega 1000, I guess. Oh, these are taking back so much memories. I feel so old just watching these things. Then you have the classic Sega Genesis. The Sega CD, which we all grew up with. Actually, I never owned a Sega CD, but I own the Sega Saturn. Then you have Naomi, which is, again, more Japanese company games in here. Oh, another Japanese company game in here. More fighting games. Games you never even heard of before is freaking here, and it's amazing. I have a lot of beat em up shooting games in here. Then here we go with uh, Sega 32X. Uh, Sega Dreamcast, Game Gear, Sega M2, the Turbo, the Turbo CD, Namco, which it has its own, you know, just Namco game. They just you know, put this as a display, but if you go on Namco, it only is going to have, you know, all Namco games. All alphabetized from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and etc. So you have all the Namco games known to man. Then you have the Namco CDs. Then you have another Namco handheld game. Then you have the 3DO, PlayStation, the first PlayStation. I don't know this, but I mean, this is basically those um, adventure games where you you know make the decision. Hopefully, you get make the right decision. And then back to arcade. So originally this machine was a thousand three hundred. I'm selling it on the app for six hundred dollars. It is a really, really good um, console. It works perfectly well. There's no problem with it. Like I said before, the only thing is don't put it at a hot room temperature because then it'll freeze. And then ex there is a way to get rid of that in case if it does freeze. So I'll give you an example. Here on the keyboard, you turn it on. In case if the machine freezes on you, when you're done playing a game, and example, if I go here, and then I call him, the game works and everything, and then it freezes, for example. All you have to do is turn on the keyboard, right here, hold on, let me see if I can brighten this up a bit for you. Ah, boy. There you go, better. There is a home button right here. See that home on the keyboard? You press that, this will pop out. It says, oh, one thing, do not connect it on the internet. All the games are already in here. There's no need for you to connect it on the internet at all. Once you press the home screen, if it freezes, you press the home screen and just press, just move it to the X, and then it's back to normal, if it freezes. That's only in case of an emergency, but since you're not going to put it in a boiling hot ass room, then you'll be fine. Now I'll just show you 
like I said, there's all classic arcade games in here. All alphabetized from A, B, all the way to Z. So I'm just gonna go to my classic, what I grew up with, and how I started my YouTube channel, you know, doing this. So I'm just, if I wanna hold go fast, all I gotta do is just hold this and it goes down. And then here we go. We have the classic Marvel superheroes, as you can see right here. You have the Marvel vs. Street Fighter, which is personally my favorite game of all time. Then you have the first, the first time of a crossover, which is Marvel vs. Capcom. But again, let's just sh let's just show you how to use an arcade game. Which is easy. All you again, you have to press the start button and the green button, and you're in the game. Now, in case if you want to, like I said, play this game, play the game, you have to remember you always have to insert a coin in here. But we say fictional coins because you're not putting an actual, you know, actual quarter inside this thing. So as you can see, you have the introduction, you have all that. So if you want to put up the volume, hold start, and just go up. Now, to put the fictional coin on the side of the arcade, there's a one white button right here. All you have to do is press it one time, that's your first fictional coin. It says put two coins, two credits to the play. I press one more time, press the start button, and voila! That's it. I'm trying to do a double. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that's how they fuck it. So yeah. That's how you use this arcade machine. In case if anyone's interested in buying this, do let me know. I'll just give you, I guess, one more different console game and then I'll end the video from here. I'll hold start, press the red button, I'm out of here. Now look at this, you see? This is exactly what I mean. The reason why the temperature is hot in here because it's against the wall and there's nothing to breathe here. But, like I said, it's frozen now. Easy way to fix it. Thank God this is the, I can make a demonstration here. All you have to do is turn on the thing, press the home button, that will pop out, you press X, and voila, see, back to normal, that's it, nothing bad. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna play a Super Nintendo game. You hold the start button, press the green. That's it. You look for any game from any alphabet type you wanna look at. Now I'm gonna go first, Mario game. As you can see, I have all the games here, even Mario All-Stars, Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, oh, that's something else. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with the classic. Again, hold the start, hold green. And they'll even tell you where the buttons they are. This is Y, this is X, this is B, this is A, this is L, this is B. It gives you exactly the button layouts of how to, you know, how to play it. Okay? Because you're going to be playing an arcade stick, then a remote control. Again, I press start. I have zero profile in here. So it's really not that, you know, hard to play on an RK stick. To be honest, I actually like playing an RK stick. So yeah, that's about it guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment and subscribe to JQ World. Anyone at the app that's asking me questions of how this works, how it looks like, I show you how it works, I show you what it looks like, I show you how big and tall this thing is, very small, easy to put in your living room, in your kitchen, or wherever you want to put it at. And it's easy to use in one, two, three. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next JQ World. Take care. Have a good night.